Hello, this is episode two in this podcast. This episode is called Schoolboy Taken. This episode will cover the very sad case of a very young schoolboy called Roy Tootle. Roy was brutally murdered in the 1960s and his murderer was not discovered until 2001. Roy Tootle was only 14 years old when he went missing in April of 1968 and his body was discovered three days later. Roy Tootle was born on the 20th of March 1954. He lived with his parents, his father Dennis and his mother Hilary and his older brother Colin. They all lived in a beautiful village called Brockham, which is in Surrey in England. The area was very rural. Roy has been described as being a happy, healthy young boy. The family were described as being very close-knit. Roy also had a very close friend called Peter, who lived nearby. In 1968, Roy attended a grammar school, which was called Kingston Grammar, which was based in Kingston-upon-Thames, which was about 16 miles from the village of Brockham, where Roy lived at the time. On the day he was murdered, which was the 23rd of April in 1968, Roy had attended school as usual. His mother had dropped him off and he was given money to get the bus home afterwards. He was dressed in his school uniform, which included a blazer, which was red in colour and looked quite distinctive because of the brightness of the colour. Roy, at the time of his disappearance, was quite small in stature and he had short, dark brown hair. On the day he disappeared, Roy had attended school and when school finished at 3.30pm that afternoon, He caught the bus with some of his friends from school. However, because the young schoolboy was trying to save up for a new bike and some model trains, Roy did not stay on the bus to get all the way back to Brockham, where he lived. Instead, it appears that Roy got off the bus at Chessington, which was only about four miles into his intended journey from school to home. Roy had decided to try and hitchhike instead for the remaining 12 miles. This was not particularly unusual. Roy had done this many times before. Also, it wasn't unheard of for people to hitchhike in the 1960s. People were not always so aware of the dangers as they are today. Roy Tootle was last seen in Chessington. He was reported to have been hitchhiking from a bus lane. A lady came forward later to say that she had seen Roy trying to get a lift and actually had spoken to him. She said that she told him that he should catch the bus home instead of hitchhiking. Apparently Roy thanked her but carried on anyway. Another witness came forward, a man this time, to say that he thought he saw someone matching the schoolboy's description talking to a man who was sitting in a car. He described the man as being short with grey hair, but I'm not sure how it was determined that he was short if he was sitting down in his car. He described the car the man was driving as a silver grey Austin Westminster Mark II. According to reports, the same...